this is widow maker right here. Look they like that feather on the news that it's making fun of. It's really rough out here. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. And this is how I can I can't reach it. I see that. And it's way higher than you, and that's where you had sawed that off. Yeah, right here. And it was on the ground. Yeah, it's right And you come back, and it's crisscrossed on top. Picked up off the ground, and dang. You can see where they slid it on this part. Where they slid it from. Started to drop down. Uh huh. They slid it up. I can reach about eight foot, and I'm on my tiptoe. Dang. So it's about, on this high side, it's about eight and a half foot up close to it. Dang. And then this other one, you can see the end where I cut it. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. That is pretty amazing right there. What gets me is how they got it in between them three trees. I hadn't noticed it till now, but look how that and there's big and down there's been over. Mm -hmm. It's still green. A bit down to the ground. Yeah. Well, again, I mean, when you bend trees over and bushes and you line up sticks on trees and bushes, it's just breaking up your outline from being on top here mm -hmm. and looking back down at the road where we got our trucks parked. Yeah. I mean, it's just providing a lot of cover. <laughs> Does it? I, I don't know what it is, but you can tell when you're where they at. It's, uh -huh. edible. it's not edible, is it? I don't reckon. <laughs> if that just smells, it, you'd have to doctor it up off the bed. <laughs> oh, you see some ginseng? I think. <laughs> How do you know when it's ripe? This time of year, the birds and stuff are going off, right? That's some ginseng right there. Mm -hmm. What's the main thing that ginseng's used for as far as like uh, mountain people using it for medicine or whatever? My papa used to eat it all the time for his belly. Mm -hmm. But the Chinese say it's good, it's aphrodisiac, but I don't know about that. But okay. they use it for a lot of different medicine and stuff. Okay. But papa would, this time of year when it was, uh, once the berries and stuff get off of it, and he would. What color is the berries on it? Red. Okay. It almost looked like a dogwood berry. Okay. But he would uh, dig him up some and eat it every year. Cool. Yeah. But you can sell that stuff for around, it usually brings 
six eight hundred dollars a pound dry Dang. but it takes a lot especially the smaller stuff to make a pound mm -hmm. it take a almost a light bread bag full I'm a lot of fire, and I never did see no wise one that didn't take off running. It might not have been there. But back then, I, I hadn't even gone into that stuff over at Nelson. I was back in the mid 90s. Mm -hmm. Well, back then, you weren't looking, looking for nothing. For, to relate anything to mm -hmm. it. You hear something but, it but it's something stuff. significant that you remember what it was, and now, mm -hmm. now you wonder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of big bucks, and I thought, now, I know there's a big buck coming through here sometime or another. Mm -hmm. So I sat till it got completely pitch black dark and never full moon. And uh, I thought, well, I'm going to sit just a little longer. So I sat just a little longer. Mm -hmm. You can hear it come around the side of the hill, come out and this ridge. Mm -hmm. And I turned my light on and tried to shine eyes, and this was in November, December, during gun season. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't no leaves. I never did see a deer's eyes shine, never did hear them run, snort, usually they'll blow at you. Yeah. Yeah, we've had them blow at us when uh, when they got right up on us. I mean, that looks just like toes. I don't really see a track. Daddy, don't stand all in it. Let me get a good... It's not very big. Mm -hmm. That looks like... you got some toes in there. Well, you look like it. Look at it. It looks like it sprawls out to here, don't it? Mm-hmm. And toes are there. I think that's amazing the way they'll take something that has been cut uh -huh. and basically make a little mark or a little sign out of it. Maybe they're, maybe they put it up in the air so they could see it more easily and say, hey, you know, someone's coming through here and they've been cutting. Yeah. Maybe that's what it means. It Rather than them getting right up on something and seeing, oh no, somebody then cut it and they're right up on it. That way they can see it from a distance. Give them a kind of a warning that, hey, somebody's coming through here and they're cutting trails. I'm going to give them this spot. They can't have this in the mud one. <laughs>
cool weather next week down in the 30s. Yeah, I, I heard about that. I think tonight it may get in the, in the 40s. Yeah. Prime is prime. Yeah, this, uh, this hurricane's brought some cooler weather with it. You'll know I bring all this rain stuff and this quick rain. Oh, it, they, they said that uh, just hold on, it's going to pour like a, a sum of my mama -ma pretty soon. Coming up here, it was raining hard, man. People were pulling off to the side of the road and everything. Oh. I had to jack my heat up to keep my windshield clear. Yeah. And I, had a, I was driving uh, 35 miles an hour on the interstate at certain sections coming up here. No, nah, I didn't feed them anything. A lot of times when I take them out in the woods, I don't feed them, hoping they won't have too much energy. But <laughs> that usually ends up failing. <laughs> Get you a good drink, boy. Get you a drink. Well, they smell something now. Uh -huh. I like how she'll have her nose right on the ground. They've dug it up uh, turtles, they've dug up snakes. <laughs> They're pretty good. I call her Turtle Master Fendi uh -huh. and him Snake Master Gotti. <laughs> Little trail marker. That looks a little deliberate, don't it? Mm hmm It does look a little bit deliberate. Where is he? <laughs> Where is he at? He's he, coming right there. Well, Gotti is right behind you. You better run. You ain't home free yet. Gotti, you out of shape, son. I might have to send you off to boot camp. He, Fend may, he figures round is a shape. <laughs> hey, Fendi's got her Squatch Merit badge. You ain't got yours, Gotti. You ain't got your badge yet. I heard that. I would say that does sound like a real bird. Blue jays can get up to be pretty good sized birds. Yeah. And they can be loud when they want to Sit there and listen to air upon air. <laughs> 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 it's about where it was at. Yeah.